In a time of the election year, why not stir the pot even more and drop a political movie where we can all talk about who loves red, who loves blue, and who loves neither? A great idea? I'd think again on that. Hey everyone, my name is Ryan. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. Today I'll be talking about the new A24 action film called Civil War. This film is directed by Alex Garland and he's done films like Ex Machina, Men, and Annihilation. The film stars Kirsten Dunst, Wagner Mora, Kaylee Spaney, Nick Offerman, and Jesse Plemons, and it's set in the near future where you have a group of war journalists who are trying to survive while there is a brink of a civil war, a brew. When I first heard of this movie, Civil War, I watched the trailer and I was like, I just don't think this is a very good idea with how the country is right now, the blue versus red all the time, and people just going back and forth. I just don't like it. I think it just causes a lot of controversy. And while this film, it doesn't really pick any sides. It's not really focusing on a blue party or a red party. I do think that people are going to watch this and they're going to assume certain things about certain parties, especially the president. I've been hearing a lot of people say that the president is representing Donald Trump, who really isn't much in the movie. Now, he is running on a third term and he did dismantle the FBI. So there is controversy with him in the film with that during the course of the beginning of the film. Visuals, they're done very well. You see these cities that are in turmoil, they're getting blown up, you have people fighting, there's guns going off, there's stuff getting burnt up, people are dying right in front of your eyes. So it's a very graphic film in that nature and I completely understand that this is not for everybody as this just seems too surreal. But the visuals with this film, they do such a good job of capturing this chaos that's going down. You'll see the missiles flying through the the air at night you'll have the helicopters flying around you have planes passing by it's a very visually stunning film and it feels like it's a very authentic film in its visuals the sound in this film is done absolutely phenomenal it's probably the best sounding film next to dune this year i saw this film in dolby and i can tell you in the beginning scene there's this big explosion and i swear to you no joke here that the speakers i thought they blew out it was really that loud and i really felt like i was there and throughout this film the gunshots ringing out, the missiles flying through the air, the helicopters flying over. All that sound is done so well that it just feels like you're very immersed and you feel like you're in the trenches with these characters, especially when we're on the ground with the characters. The characters, they're trying to get these shots while people are firing shots at each other. People are dying and they're taking shots of them dying. It's extremely crazy that we see this going on and it was a lot to really take in. Our three main characters, they're on a mission to get to DC and they have to get there the safest way possible. So they have to go through a lot of back roads because they can't go through the major cities because Obviously, there's explosions going on, fires going on, gunfire erupting. So they want to get there as safe as possible. And along the way, you see a bunch of buildings being burned. You see a bunch of missiles flying through the air. You see some cars that are broken down the highway, blown up. You just see an apocalyptic world that is just completely shocking to see because it just seems so surreal. And it seems very crazy that all these journalists, they want to capture this war going on. They want to capture people dying and their photography it's just like how crazy is that just thinking about that from an outside perspective who takes a job like that and enjoys it at that I mean, I guess you're making money, but it's like you're watching people die before your eyes. So it just feels very inhumane watching these main characters. And that really goes into my negatives of this film because I don't really like these characters. I felt that they were very bland. They don't really have a lot of motivations. And, you know, they're just trying to get the money shot throughout this film. I never really latched on to any one character. I didn't feel like anybody was really annoying or anything like that. But I just felt like they didn't have any traits where I could really latch on. And I do see that in a lot of people's negatives because this is one thing where you know you watch a movie and you can really root for somebody and this is one of those things where even though they were in danger a lot of times I never really cared if they got blown up or killed because I felt like they were putting themselves in harm's way and even though they're trying to do a job which I hope they're making a lot of money doing something like this I just didn't really feel sorry for them because they're putting themselves at risk during a troubling time and it's just a bad decision. One of the things that I wanted to know and I think a lot of the audience wanted to know this is why are we actually fighting in this war? What went on that we got to this point? There's factions that a bunch of states are joining up and just 
being allies and there's enemies within different factions. They don't really explain how they got together, what they're standing for, why the heck they even stand what they stand for. None of that is explained throughout this film. There's a lot of military and militia guys running around, shooting at each other. You don't really know who's shooting at who. You don't really know who to root for and who's shooting each other or who you actually agree with, which I did not like about the film because it just felt so vague within its premise. I felt that it played it very safe. It didn't necessarily need to pick a side, but it at least could have told the audience why we got to where we're at. There's a part in the film where Jesse Plemons is involved, and this is the only scene that he's involved in, and he's involved in some sort of militia, and they're dumping all these dead bodies into a mass grave, and that was a very powerful and visual scene. He's a very menacing character, and even though he's not on screen for a very long time, I thought he did an excellent job in that role. I wish we got a little bit more of what he actually stood for, but with that brief scene, I definitely think that it made an impact. Expectations, I do believe, should be checked at the door before going into this film. I think a lot of people really expected a lot of action with this film. And being this is A24 and a lower budget film, I knew it wasn't going to be on that realm of an action pack. 90 minute film where you just have explosions going off at every point in the movie. No, I knew it wasn't going to be that. The action here, I think it's a plenty. It definitely is spread out. You definitely have some moments that are very powerful visually. There's blood. There's dead bodies everywhere. It definitely is captured in a way where it feels very morbid at what you're actually looking at. And it feels very inhumane, dirty. You just feel like you shouldn't even be watching this before your eyes. And it's a very powerful film in that instance. It just really lacks a big plot it really lacks a lot of emotions that i could really connect to the characters and i felt overall as a film it was very successful in grabbing me visually and very successful in just the sound and everything that was really going on i think the finale is done very well it definitely puts everything in perspective of the film however though i wasn't really a fan of the ending it just kind of ends very abruptly and i just was like yeah i didn't really agree with that ending as there was a lot more things going on and it just feels like we were left hanging by the time the film comes to a close for all as a score for this film i would give it a three out of five i do think that it captures a lot of cool elements and the technical aspect of the film is done very well. I just think the characters and the story overall, it's a little bit weak for my taste. And I think it just wasn't a good idea to really put this film out. I feel like this film sparks a lot more negativity across the internet, a lot of people fighting. And I just don't think it's a good film to release, especially during election year. Some people may not care. Others, you know, they're going to really take offense to this film and probably skip it. And I don't blame anyone. It's just one of those films too, where if you really like really good sound, visuals, and you see something where there is a little bit of action where you can really get into i think it's a good film in that aspect i just don't think as a story or if you're looking for a lot of answers i don't think it's good in that aspect so that's why i went with a three out of five it's not a film that i'm going to go ahead and rewatch again i will say from a ranking perspective this would be third on my ranking annihilation is last men is number two and ex machina is still my favorite film from this director however i want to hear from you guys what do you guys think about this film did you like it did you hate it did you just think it was kind of meh and are you going to check it out in a the theater are you going to stream it or are you going to skip it altogether? leave any and all comments down below and also let me know what is your favorite Alex Garland film down in the comments? Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.